Hello everyone, Aiden here from Push Square, and today I'm removing the SSD from my PS5 and installing it into my PS5 Pro. So this is a quick and easy guide on how to remove and install an SSD. So you're going to want to clear yourself some space and I would recommend placing a towel down as well to save your PS5 from damage. Now you're going to want to place the PS5 with the disc side up and if you're using the OG plates like I am then you're grabbing these two corners to click off the faceplate. Slightly different for the PS5 Slim but relatively simple nonetheless. So here we have the SSD slot and you're going to need to get yourself a star shaped screwdriver, a relatively thin one at that, nothing too crazy though, and it's just a case of screwing off the heatsink. The screw itself comes off with relative ease. It's the heatsink though that you might have some problems with. You're going to want to keep a hold of this screw. Now this here, I kind of struggled with getting it out before I realised there were two little slots to sort of wedge out. Just be careful you don't flick it out like I did. Now obviously you want to keep a hold of this, we're going to be putting that in the Pro. This is the SSD here, same screwdriver to take out this little screw. Great shot here Aiden. The SSD is going to sit at a bit of an angle once you've unscrewed it. Keep a hold of that screw as well and then lightly pull the SSD out at the angle that it's already facing. I had to dust mines off a little, clearly I haven't cleaned my PlayStation 5 in a while, but that's you done with the OG PlayStation unless you want to put it back together. Now to get the SSD you don't want the logo side, you want the other side and the top faceplate. If you have a disk drive installed then it's going to be the same side as the disk drive. These kind of flick off a little bit awkwardly, I find these a bit weirder than the than the uh, original faceplates, but again just that same screwdriver to bring this little metal cover off and then this is where things maybe get a little bit particular. You're going to have to look at this specific spot, you'll see how to line it up when you look closely. You want to apply a bit of pressure but not too much. It will click in and it will stay at that angle yet again. Every PS5 should have this screw and spacer in the side. You're going to want to take that out, place the spacer underneath in the little slot and then screw it in. Now you're putting the heat sink back. It'll pretty much just slot into place but of course you're going to take that screw you've got from earlier, the same screwdriver and screw that one in and that is essentially as complicated as it gets. Installing the SSD is a pretty simple process. It's actually harder getting these things back on. They have a bit of a weird like you push it and it clicks. It doesn't sound right. It doesn't feel right. But anyway, plug in your PS5, turn that thing on and once you've logged in, honestly, that that's it. There's, there's nothing else to this. The games you had installed if you had them installed already, they're there, they're accessible, otherwise you've got an extra terabyte or whatever storage you've picked extra on your Pro. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching, I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, consider leaving a like and maybe even subscribing to the channel for more PlayStation video content. Until next time, I've been Aiden and this has been Push Square.